There are times you're sleeping and suddenly you feel that the weight of someone is on you. Someone is choking you, someone is trying to hold you down. It's as if they're strangling you. In fact, if you try to scream, you can't even move your mouth. You can't even hear yourself shout. What do you think that is? Are you haunted by ghosts? Or maybe the people in your village don't just want you to prosper. What exactly do you think that is? Now, a lot of people will argue that it's definitely some spiritual activity. Well, some other people might say it's called sleep paralysis or something else. What could it be? Okay, so let's talk about sleep paralysis today. But first of all, I would like to say I don't deny the existence of any spiritual form of activities that may look like that. I'm going to tell you that spiritual activities exist and sometimes they can act out like this. People can do things, blah, 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 come at you at night. Yes, I understand that that exists. But it's not every time you have such episode that it's a spiritual attack. Sometimes it's just something in your body that is abnormal. Let me tell you what happens when you're sleeping. Your body tries to make every part of your muscles relaxed. So it's like a partial paralysis so that you don't try to move or uh, do anything harmful to yourself at night when sleeping. And you know, in some cases you might have dreams, sometimes very, very dangerous dreams, sometimes very sweet dreams and all of those things. You might be tempted in your sleep to want to move yourself or act, your, act out your dreams. Sleep makes your body partially paralyzed so that you don't act out your dreams and you get injured in the process of dreaming. Now let's come back to um, sleep paralysis. Now in sleep paralysis, Yes, your body is partially paralyzed, but then you feel like there is a weight on you, like you're being strangulated or you're being pressed down by some malevolent being and they're just trying to harm you. Now, at this point, your sense of reasoning is intact, which means you could think. Now, scientists say that the line between uh, falling into sleep and waking up is very blurry at this point. So there's a lot of activity in your brain. Hallucination is involved and some form of intense fear because of course you're going to start seeing things like maybe shadows, you're going to be hearing sounds or probably doors opening, some, uh, some thoughts, some very thoughts, dangerous thoughts which could cause you to be scared. So in sleep paralysis all these things happen but the reason why everybody attributes this thing to spiritual attack because spiritual activities have found a way to blend with these things. I mean, I don't think spiritual activities can conjure things out of nothing. I think they use the existing things to do their works of, yeah? I think you understand what I'm trying to say. Some people want to believe the scientific aspect of all these things, but now let's think about it. You have dreams all the time, yes? Maybe not all the time, but you have dreams often. Some of the dreams, you love them. So how come that the ones you love are not from your village, but the ones you don't like are from your village? Do you understand? You're gonna have dreams. Some are gonna be good, some are gonna be bad. So regardless of the outcome, sometimes it might just be the activities in your brain. I'm just trying to tell you that not every time you have an attack, that it is a spiritual attack. Sometimes it is just something else. Now, sleep paralysis is not like some critical condition oh something is wrong with you no it happens now this usually happens when you have maybe you're depressed or you've been depriving yourself of sleep i think we should talk about sleep deprivation okay that'll be in a different video but yes a lot of things are happening and sleep paralysis could be a symptom of it sleep paralysis could be a symptom of anything it could be a symptom of depression so we want to blame everything to the devil you know sometimes you give the devil too much credit that he deserves and I'm sure sometimes he's not even happy about it. But again, let's leave it. Now, what's the point of trying to make this video? The time is when you want to eliminate something, you have to know the cost so that you know where to eliminate it from. What if you keep blaming the devil or doing some one to incantations and all of, all of those stuffs and the things is there just because you refuse to go and treat what is just treatable. This sleep paralysis, it's everywhere. In China, they call it the spirit of a dead body is on you. In, uh, Jap in Japan, they say, uh, you are being haunted by ghosts in Nigeria. They say you are being attacked by the devil. Yes, all these things are possibilities. But 
normally for you to be able to eliminate a cause of something you need to know the root cause of it because if you don't know the root cause and you are acting on it differently that thing will never go away i was going to talk about this casually but then i was having a conversation with my friend and he drew attention that this thing is quite a serious thing like he told me his stories and how this thing has been quite a sensitive issue for him until he grew up and then he led me to his site where a lot of people talk about these things and some of them are old but they are still scared like they have trauma after so much critical thinking i've decided i've realized that yes probably i was joking with this but i need to talk about this i'm going to do a series of videos on sleep there are so many things that happen when you sleep there are so many things you do when you're asleep that probably has an explanation but you don't know you don't know it and sometimes you're scared have you ever seen a child sleeping but they're banging their head on the bed and you're hearing strange noise coming from your son's room or your daughter's room and you go there and the sight is scary or sometimes sleepwalking all those things are sleep abnormalities and some of these things are explainable come back to sleep paralysis it's not something that you have to call for help but if the symptom persists if that keep persisting then you need to see your doctor probably if it is a medical issue then it should be treated based on the cause but if it is a spiritual issue <laughs> pray more i hope you will understand this thing you know what i want to see your comments i want to know the experiences you have had or seen or even had yourself on, on this sleep paralysis let me see your comments but i'm going to upload another video on something that has to do with sleep and is related to this video okay i'll see you next week have a nice week peace out mm -hmm.